So many of the incredible people I talk to every single week have been thinking about writing their memoir for years, sometimes up to decades or even multiple decades. And I love that I get to be part of helping them take the next step forward. And part of the reason I can do that is I totally get it. It is really, really hard to make the time for yourself to get that project done. There are so many other drains on our time, things we maybe even really enjoy, right? We wanna spend time with our kids, we wanna make sure that we're doing what we need to in our careers, we wanna rest and care for ourselves, and sometimes what it takes is a little bit of external accountability just to make sure you're moving forward, making progress every single week. And that's why we launched the Memoir Method Group Program. We're in enrollment right now, and that is why I wanted to spend a whole episode talking about what makes you a perfect fit for a group memoir coaching program like the Memoir Method. Stay tuned. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this program and whether this could be the solution to helping you move forward on that memoir you've been putting off for so long. If it's time, stay tuned. If you're ready to write that memoir, but you're struggling with where to start, the memoir method is for you. In this nine month group program, you are going to learn how to organize your story for maximum impact, write those vivid visceral scenes that draw readers in and make them talk about your book. You're gonna learn how to get a literary agent or publish a book that you're very proud of on your own. Head over to pageandpodium.com slash memoir dash method to learn more and sign up today. I cannot wait to hear about your book. So many folks struggle with what the right container is for making progress on that project. So do you want a one-on-one -on -one coach? Do you want a group program? Do you want to just hire a ghostwriter? It's really, really hard to know. And I totally get not wanting to dive into some, you know, established program if you're not really sure that you are the right fit. So there are six elements to our memoir method program that are really going to help you determine whether this is the right choice for you or whether you should you know, look elsewhere or think about a different type of program, either with Page and Podium or with someone else. So today let's talk about the six ways to know whether you are a perfect fit for this program. The first, are you invested in social change? Now, this is not gonna to apply to every single group memoir program or course, but it is important to know that if you're working with Page and Podium Press, you are probably going to be invested in making the world a better place. Everybody has different ways they wanna tackle that. So in the memoir method, we're gonna have people who are invested in DEI initiatives. They wanna think about race and gender equity. We're also gonna have people who are really interested in uplifting their particular community. How, whoever has given them support along the way, they really wanna give back and make sure that their story is helping others. But whatever the case is, ask yourself, is one of my goals in writing this memoir to help others. Do I wanna make the world a better place, a more just, more equitable, more fair, more joyful place than it is right now? And do I think my story is the way I'm gonna do that? If the answer is yes, I can tell you, you are gonna find so many kindred spirits in the memoir method. It is a place where we are really going to be leaning into the change that we know our stories can make, whatever form they might take. We're gonna get those memoirs out because we wanna make the world better. And that brings me to the second thing, the second way that you can know whether you are an excellent fit for this program. So. Everybody that's in the memoir method is going to be thinking at least to some degree about being service oriented in their storytelling. And what do I mean by that? When I say service oriented, I mean that you want to use your book, not just to change the world in general, but also you have particular people that you want to serve through your story. Now here, I want to give you an example of a client that we have worked with here. So she was writing a book on her kind of her childhood and the things that she learned. Um, she's in her 70s now. So she was growing up, things looked quite a bit different, in, you know, in different kinds of social ways. And one thing that she really discovered as she was working on that memoir was that her mother had been exercising a really particular, really um, underappreciated form of emotional abuse. So her mother was very, very dependent on her for the kind of emotional fulfillment. So there were lots of things that her mother would do that, 
you know, she just kind of grew up thinking they were normal. But when she started reflecting back on some of these things, like her mother keeping her home from school because she felt lonely that day, um, or her mother, you know, asking her to stop playing with her friends so that she could spend time with her mother, there just were a lot of clues, a lot of breadcrumbs that she was following to really make sense of what this all meant. Now, it took her decades, maybe 30, 40 years to really come to terms with what she had been through. And one of her purposes in writing this memoir was she did not want anybody else to have to go through that. She wanted to make sure that there was ready, accessible information in the form of story that could help people recognize the things that they were dealing with, the emotional trauma that they had inherited from the way their parents behaved. That is a service purpose. Whenever you set out to write your memoir because you want to shine light on something that you know many, many other people are experiencing as well, then you are a perfect fit for Page and Podium. Please reach out, send me a DM, send me an email, because I want to hear your story. That is our why. And holding on to your why, the people you want to help, is really the only way you are going to get through that memoir in a way that feels really good, feels really authentic, and is, is really going to be much more efficient. Whenever we are holding that bigger reason in front of us, it really becomes like a roadmap to finish that book the way that you want to finish it. And that really brings me to my next point. If you are a person who is really motivated and determined, then a group program is going to work really well for you. Now that is not to say you're never gonna have a stumbling block. If you talk to anyone that has successfully written a memoir, if they're being honest with you, they will tell you that there were some scenes that take them a long time and a lot of emotional work to get through. Some scenes gonna fly off the page, right? <laughs> there are those fun scenes or the stories that we tell all the time that you know, either people are very impressed or they think they're cool or, you know, they're funny. Those scenes are a lot easier to write, but every single memoir is going to have at least a few scenes that you're going to really struggle with. And let me give you an example of this, just so you can think about what this is going to be like when you hit that spot. So a client that we worked with some time ago, when they came in, they, they had a whole um, outline, a kind of plan for how they wanted to lay out their book, how they thought that it was going to pan out. Now, part of what we do in the memoir method is refine that outline. So I was expecting that there would be some changes, but it's good to have a place to start. So we, we moved forward with that preliminary outline. Well, as we started working through the memoir method, one thing that they realized was that they had left out a major piece of their life, their sister Sarah. The thing about Sarah was that Sarah had some pretty severe mental health issues. And in fact, um, our client had ended up taking Sarah in as a full-time caregiver. But our client didn't really feel like it was their place to talk a lot about their sibling. So they had really made an effort to keep Sarah out of the outline. Now, as we started working through it, one thing that they realized was it wasn't really, you know, protection for Sarah that they were looking for. And in fact, Sarah's story was pretty key in thinking about the lessons they'd learned from their life. The reason they were avoiding talking about Sarah was that it was really emotionally hard for them. Now, good news, this story has a happy ending because they were able to work in Sarah's story in a way that really served both of them. That just as the last client I was mentioning helped others recognize some of the early signs of mental illness in the people they loved, helped them see that they could get help and support for caring for family members with mental illnesses, and that they were able to really come to terms with some of the things in their own background and their own perspective on life that they would have missed if they had left Sarah out of the memoir. But I bring that up to say, if you don't have motivation and determination to finish this book, that kind of thing can and will derail you. One of the things we do in the memoir method to really try to make sure you have that support you need is that we've not only got kind of worksheets and templates and video trainings, you're also getting group support. You're gonna get it in three ways. One, you're gonna get it through our weekly group calls. The second, you're gonna get it through our weekly email check-ins that just offer you some accountability to make sure either you're moving forward or so we can help you troubleshoot if you're not, if you run into a stumbling block like that. 
and third, you are going to be in our circle community so that you will have access to all of the other amazing women who are working on their memoir at the same time you are. But if you are not feeling motivated and determined and really wanting to knock this book out, it's going to cause some problems for you. So I want to make sure you're really thinking about how are you going to reconnect with your why? And are you a person that's really going to be self-motivated so that a group container really serves you? We don't ever want people in the memoir method who it's not going to work for. So we want to make sure that you're feeling motivated and determined because we love to celebrate your results and we want you to get there. The fourth thing you're going to need is to be a proficient writer. Now, that does not mean that you already know how to write books. I don't expect that you do. In fact, if you already know how to write a book, I think probably one-on-one -on -one coaching is better for you. We are targeted toward first-time authors, but you really should be doing some kind of regular writing regularly. <laughs> that might be things like blog posts. Um, it might be just even professional emails. Maybe you're just journaling. All of that stuff is really important, but it is really hard to flip that switch if you haven't been doing any kind of writing, if you're really not comfortable putting words on the page. That's, that's a little bit too much, really, for a group program to support because we really can't give you kind of the, the grammar and the writing support. The memoir method really is much more for the emotional support, for the industry insider stuff that you need, how to outline, how to write a really great scene, how to put a flashback in, that kind of thing. So we do want to make sure that you feel comfortable in front of a keyboard, you know, you're comfortable putting words on the page. We can take the rest from there, make sure you've got the support you need, but let's make sure that you're writing before you jump into the group container. And that leads me to the fifth thing. And that is we really want people in the memoir method to be curious about how the industry works. Now, I will tell you, it is very rare that I speak to an aspiring memoirist who isn't curious about the industry. But the thing to know about a group program is it is going to be very self-directed. You're really going to get to choose your path. So some people are going to decide to self-publish. Some people decide to aim for a literary agent. Some people want to uh, publish under the page and podium imprint. There's information and modules on all of those options in the memoir method. But if you're not curious, if you're just kind of wanting somebody to tell you, that really isn't going to be for you. We are looking for people who really are independent and driven and motivated. They have their goals in mind. And if you've got that, if you're curious, you want to learn more about the best way to hit your goals with that book, the memoir method, a great, great option. It's going to help you really think through the options that you've got, learn more so that you know what you're going into and feel really, really, really confident as you move through the writing process and into the publishing process. And finally, we want to make sure that you are community oriented. Now, I find that most people who are thinking in terms of serving others, thinking in terms of making social change, typically are community oriented. But I want to be really clear. I do not mean that you have to be an extrovert. I am not an extrovert. Emily is not an extrovert. Most of the people in this container are not, you know, typical extroverts. What you do need, though, is you need to feel comfortable sharing in a group. We want to make sure you feel comfortable, you know, reaching out for help, not only from us, but from if you see others in the group, there's a whole directory so you can find people you really want to connect with, reach out to them, find your kind of support pod, even within the larger group program. And we want to make sure that you're somebody that is going to be in there and cheering other people on so that you can get cheered on to. But it is very much a community situation. It's very much, um, you know, you're going to be building relationships and networking and, like I said, celebrating, but also empathizing. So if you are, you know, somebody that really, you really like that idea of kind of hunkering down, writing the whole thing without reaching out to others, that might not be really a great fit. We want to make sure that you are somebody that sees a lot of value in connecting with other people who are going through the same things that you are. And I personally just love this because when you get ready to publish your book, you are going to need some blurbs or some endorsements from other authors. You have a whole community of people who are going to know your story so well. And how cool when we see these books come out that it, it is a memoir method client with a memoir method endorsement on the front cover of the book. I just, it makes my heart sing. <laughs> 
So these six things, uh, you need to be uh, social change oriented, service oriented, motivated and determined, a proficient writer, not necessarily books, but definitely other kind of short form things. You need to be curious about the book industry and oriented toward community. If you feel like those six things fit you and you are ready to finally finish that book, we have got a spot for you in the memoir method. So hop over to pageandpodium.com slash memoir dash method. You can learn a lot more about the program and you can apply right on the page to join our community. We cannot wait to welcome you. I really love hearing everybody's stories. So please come excited, bring your ideas. We are gonna take you all the way from idea to published. Y'all tell me if this sounds familiar. You have wanted to write your memoir for so long, but every time you actually find time to write, you sit down only to realize you have no idea where to start. If that's you, the Memoir Method program was designed specifically for you. This program is designed to help you organize your story for maximum impact, write in a way that feels easy and effortless and natural and that actually gives you the clarity you want on the meaning behind your experiences. It's gonna help you shape your scenes so that they are vivid and visceral and engaging for your reader. And it's gonna help you land that literary agent you want or publish the book of your dreams on your own. When you join the Memoir Method program, you are going to get a personalized one-on-one call to help kickstart your process and make sure the strategies you're using are right for you. You're gonna get weekly support from two industry professionals with a combined total experience of 32 years in the publishing world. You are going to get easy to follow templates, tricks, tips, and video trainings to make sure you always know what you're doing next. And you are going to get a community of support that will gather around you, make sure you have that accountability you need to move forward and encourage, support, and celebrate your wins. If this sounds like the program for you, head over to pageandpodium.com slash memoir dash method. You can sign up right now from today through January 25th to start with us in our February 1st cohort. I cannot wait to welcome you into our community and I'm so excited to hear about your story. Go over there, sign up right now. We are so excited to welcome you to the Memoir Method.